Tonight, loved ones of Joshua Sykes want closure and justice more than six and a half years after his death. His family is grappling with a ruling from a Portsmouth judge to clear charges against one of two suspects in Sykes' murder case. Angelique Arantak is in the studio after finding out why the judge went in this direction. Janet, Dan, one of two suspects in this 2017 murder case is a free man tonight. Defense attorneys asked a judge to dismiss felony charges against Alexander Weinshell over the lack of a speedy trial. The judge ruled in their favor yesterday. This case dates back to Labor Day of 2017 when Portsmouth police found Joshua Sykes shot to death at a home on Wilcox Avenue. Officers later arrested brothers Alexander and Zebulon Weinshell. On Monday, a Portsmouth judge cleared Alexander of charges tied to the murder. We were just upset. Sykes' uncle, Kenneth Ganey, accuses Commonwealth's attorneys of communicating poorly with family and dropping the ball. It's hurtful that we didn't even have a trial to say, hey, this is what happened. Before the judge's ruling, Alexander's attorneys called his court file incomplete following his indictment. A motion from the defense says in part, quote, it's unknown to current counsel why no scheduling order or continuance order has been entered explaining why trial could not be set in a reasonable time. We never got that closure. Within the last year, Ganey is also aware of at least two other cases with serious charges collapsing in the hands of Portsmouth prosecutors. In August, a woman who ran a home daycare underwent trial for felony child abuse charges. A judge ultimately ruled prosecutors did not follow discovery rules. Then in September, a Portsmouth judge dismissed a first degree murder case against an accused killer before the jury had the chance to deliberate. Prosecutors left out the home address of their star witness. And Ganey tells me the outstanding Weinshell suspect Zebulon is supposed to appear in court for a hearing this Friday. Sykes' family worries about the outcome of that case, too. Janet. All right. Thank you, Angelique. And a representative from the Portsmouth Commonwealth's Attorney's Office tells us Deputy Commonwealth's Attorney Lynette Hill and Commonwealth's Attorney Stephanie Morales were not available for an interview today. Next.